Hello, this is Godly from Tolerated Cinematics and today I will be showing you how to create this really cool looking 3D text wallpaper in uh, Cinema 4D, After Effects and Photoshop. Uh, for After Effects we will just uh, use these optical flares and the background and stuff and we will save it on a way that you don't lose any quality, so not a print screen or something like that. So this will also be shown in this, tutor in this tutorial. So let's get started. First open up Cinema 4D and to create this 3D text it's really simple to do, uh, to do this so everyone will be able to do this. So um, go to MoGraph then just insert the text object and rename your text to whatever you want. Go to font I will use Gothic and Bank Gothic. It's a really nice font for this kind of style so okay. And the line will be middle and depth will be 120 and the caps will be filled caps and to change the caps you can do this on the tabs over here and the steps will be 3 and then hold alt and left mouse to um, drag your view so we'll just take this uh, this view over here and then we'll go on the text object double click on it and rename it to your text so you won't be confused later on if you're continuing a really nice wallpaper and doing a lot of stuff in there so um, yeah once you have that click on the layer and press C on the keyboard or go over here and click this colored um, button so um, then you will have something like this and if you pl uh, click on the plus and again and again you will see um, all your letters apart from each other so uh, we can just uh, rotate each of them and get a nice position so I will be doing this really quick so um, you will have to take your own decisions uh, on this one so um, I will just do this for the tutorial and not because it's nice okay so something like this should do uh, maybe we should position these all three together a little bit to the camera okay something like this should be fine and then we'll enter a uh, click on the light over here just click on it and then go to the position of the um, I don't I guess it's the Z okay yeah, it's the Z okay so just get this one a little bit um, in front of your text and then go to type uh, spotlight and then just drag on these uh, orange uh, buttons and just drag it up just like this and the intensity will be changed to let's say 70 something like 70 percent and the color a really really light uh, blue something like this okay maybe even lighter uh, okay so this uh, looks already pretty nice uh, click uh, once again on the light and now get it all the way on the top and now you can see your text just like this okay so get back to your view and maybe you can insert a camera so um, if you uh, will turn it uh, you can just go to the camera view okay so this is our camera and this will be and we can change it to the view to the um, wide screen position of our um, text that we are seeing right now and first of all we are going to the settings so the output settings um, will be changed to my screen resolution and to see the screen resolution just right click on the background on the background on the uh, desktop and just and uh, go to um, desktop, uh, desktop properties I guess okay so um, my screen resolution is 190 uh, 20 on um, 1080 and the resolution will be 300 but we'll change all these things later so now we should have something like this and um, we'll make it smaller before okay something like that um, okay so now we'll create a material for our text and just go to file over here and go to new material and double click on it and go to texture for color texture gradient and a click on the gradient and the gradient color double click, uh, double click on the black one 
and get a really light uh, gray color for a little change of colors in the background. Um, okay, uh, go to reflection, texture will be Fresnel and we'll take the brightness to like 60 and the mixed strength will be 80. Okay, um, the, we can also change the offset maybe to 30%, okay, something like this. Uh, okay, specular will be max, wide uh, width will be uh, max and height also 100%. Uh, percent. And the fall off will be uh, a little less, so something like this should do. Um, okay, so um, we can just uh, import a um, a texture if you want to. So go to bump texture, load image, and just uh, load a image and create a copy. Okay, and now drag the material onto your text. So just on this one over here. And if we run, uh, render it for a view, we can see that's uh, that it's not pretty nice. So we'll change this to like 30 blurriness. Okay, so here we have our texture, and maybe watch out the bump; it will look better. Nope. Um, the brightness. We have to change the brightness, maybe. Um, 80 and intensity 11. This should be 70 to 30. Okay, so 20 and 20. So I'm sorry for the mistake. Just change these settings and these will look um, better. Okay, so now we'll create a sky. So go over here and go to sky. And we'll import a HDRI. So click on this button over here to browse and go to um, presets, Cinema 4D, and then HDR. I, uh, okay, so import a uh, really cool um, background that will fit the text, so I guess this one, uh, this one will do, and drag it onto the um, materials. Okay, close it, and just drag it onto the sky, and right click on the sky, Cinema 4D text, and compositing. And then you will he, uh, see here a lot of different options. And seen by camera, check this off. Okay, render it out. And as you can see, it's well, maybe too much. You can just change uh, the intensity from the um, reflection again. And just to your own needs. Um, so, oh, doing the wrong one. Okay, so this one will do. Um, okay, maybe the Y you can just get this up a little and the D. Okay, um, but as I said, I did it really quick, so it doesn't really look that nice. Um, so once you've done that, we can also get the camera up a little. Okay, um, so. If you want to see what's the camera seeing right now, just go to cameras, scene, camera, and you can rename it camera one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can just rotate and do stuff, and then you can go to the editor, camera, and then you can just see around, and go to camera, scene, camera one, and you will see your text again. So, once you've done that, we're going to start creating our settings. So, go on the settings tab and go to general and this will be full render output will be um, as I said the resolution resolution will be 300 if you want to um, the um, frame range will be 0 to 0 because it's a still image and save it uh, also check the alpha channel and save it as a PNG uh, okay and I will mention it over. I will get it on my D uh, D drive and in my file that I upload. I render everything from Cinema 4D, so videos, Cinema 4D, and images for me. Okay, and I will name it 3D text tutorial. And I will save it. 
and the rest will uh, looks pretty nice. Okay, anti-aliasing best still image and anti-aliasing minimum level will be two and um, two times two and go to effect um, and insert a lens effect and a um, global illumination okay so close it and render it out by clicking on this button and I won't be waiting or I will it's going pretty fast for the moment maybe I forgot something no okay so once it's rendered um, I will just uh, you can just follow this tutorial again I will use uh, a image that I already rendered from the wallpaper I already made so just close Cinema 4D or save it and then we'll open up um, After Effects so be right back okay so here we are in After Effects and go to file import um, import file and just import your um, image so for me it's over here open it up and drag it onto a new composition as you can see you have no background so we are going to effects and presets if you don't have this go to windows and effects and presets or control F uh, 5 um, so okay over here we'll enter 4 and we'll find this 4 color gradient and just drag it onto your um, background oh, and we don't have one uh, yet so I forgot something right click new solid and BG okay and drag this four color gradient onto this solid get it on the background and change the colors to a whitish white gray color something like that um no we have some more time we can change it to like a light blue color really light because white it won't see the optical flares that good okay so something like this um, okay so now right click new and adjustment layer and click on the layer enter and we'll name this optical flare one okay and go to effect video copilot optical flares of course you will have uh, have to buy the optical flares um, on videocopilot.net if you don't have the op optical flares uh, you won't be able to do this you can just use the standard flares in Photoshop so then you won't need to open up After Effects if you don't have this optical flare um, okay so we'll open it up and for this I will be going to mode if you don't have mode press F4 on the keyboard and you will change from tab go and edit and get it to add and go to options and I will just use custom presets because it's taking too long to create one with this tutorial okay so you can just use one and that you like and insert it on the background or one above the text and duplicate this um, okay duplicate the layer click on the optical flare uh, adjustment layer and control D to duplicate it and go to options again and show preset light will take this one and I will get this position to maybe over here and then we'll duplicate it once again options custom presets, natural, uh, maybe this one, okay, and position it over here and get the brightness down a lot. And you can just start editing it uh, to your own needs. And once you uh, you are done with your wallpaper, go to um, composition and save frame as. Go to file and click on this one over here on the name and rename it to whatever you want. I already did. Um, I have I have it over here. 
so it's the same as this one and just click save and then click render then you can just close this up and go to the um, document that you saved it to so for me it's right over here um, over here and just open it up and maybe you can edit it over here a little bit more so go to image um, you can add a curve curves you can maybe get it like darker and lighter over here okay so something like this looks pretty good and more blue but for me it's already enough because I already edited a little so then press OK and save it as a JPEG file and then you can just save it so save it and quality 12 maximum and hit OK and then you are done so and you can just use this wallpaper and well yeah you're done so thanks for watching if you like this uh, tutorial please like it and maybe leave a comment and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos coming soon um, and I will be making tutorials in all kind of programs so thanks for watching and goodbye